try to tell anyone, I'll turn both of you into dummies. Just like Zane. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 most brutal fates worse than death on Goosebumps. Beware of spooky spoilers ahead. It's too late. We will decide your fate. Number 20. Forced to wear a mask permanently. Desperate to find a costume scary enough to frighten her tormentors, Carly Beth stole a terrifying mask from a creepy store. The twisted face quickly corrupts her normally gentle personality. When Carly Beth tries to remove it, she realizes she can't take it off. There's no line in between the mask and your skin. There's no place I can reach my hand in. That's crazy. That's just crazy. Her friend Steve makes the same horrifying realization in Haunted Mask 2. As added salt to his wounds, his mask also makes him feel like a sickly old man. You are under my power now, old man. I'm not an old man. I'm a kid. You were. Fortunately for both Carly Beth and Steve, acts of love help them get the masks off before it's too late. But they're still not out of the woods. Since Carly Beth's mask is powerful, it may return to permanently replace her face. Number 19. Cursed by an Evil Camera If you ever come across a weird-looking camera in a seemingly abandoned place, maybe you shouldn't use it to take photos like Greg did. Every time he snapped a pic, something terrible happened to the subject of the photo. The camera caused a kid to fall off stairs and for a teacher to instantly lose his hair. However, it's capable of a lot worse. Greg's friend Sherry literally disappears from existence. It knew that Sherry was going to disappear. Oh, man. No, no, look, don't you get it? it? It predicts the future, and it makes it bad. The creator also became trapped inside the device during a heated confrontation. Since the punishment the camera subjects you to is admittedly random, you could get off easy. But given what you've heard, would you ever test fate by getting your photo taken? Don't you remember how dangerous that camera is? All the horrible things it did? It made me disappear. I gotta get to school. I'm not letting you go. Number 18. Becoming Paranoid of Plant Clones both Casey and Margaret Brewer were nearly scared to death when they tried to go into their dad's basement. Things only got worse when they discovered their father accidentally made a plant clone of himself down there. I'm your real father. He's not your dad. He's not even human. He's a plant. You're the plant. No. He's lying. And this copy didn't have the best intentions for the young Brewers. But since the kids are able to expose the pretender and eliminate it, the story had a happy ending, right? Not exactly. It's revealed that multiple plants have sprouted near the house that sound exactly like Dr. Brewer. Margaret, help me. Please help me. The story leaves it ambiguous as to whether the ones we see on screen are the only ones out there. In the future, none of the Brewers may be able to look at plants without getting seriously paranoid. We're just here to use the bathroom, and then we're just going to leave. I hope that's okay. Number 17. Mutated Against Your Will Few characters were more deserving of their terrible fate than Jacob Ritter. I'm not going to let you throw away all our hard work just because you don't have the guts to see it through. You can't just leave us on this island, Ritter. This is insane. Have a nice life. What's left of it? This lab assistant tricked people into taking a serum called D13 that mutated them into inhuman creatures. To make matters worse, he tried to pin his crimes on an innocent doctor. Ritter's attempts to get rid of all the witnesses turns out to be his undoing. After they expose that he's responsible, the mutants hunt him down and force him to drink D13. Ritter proceeds to grow gills and becomes marketed as a sideshow attraction it's unclear if his captor will ever let him go. And although there's an antidote that can reverse the process, there's no telling if Ritter will ever get it. What do you think happened to Ritter? Yeah, he sort of disappeared after those fish people got hold of him. Number 16, playing piano for eternity. Jerry's music lessons take a turn for the creepy when a disturbing teacher starts obsessing over his hands. But with hands like these, I'm sure You'll be a perfect student. Shortly after a very questionable lesson, a ghost arrives and tells the kid to stay away from the instructor. 
Unfortunately, Jerry's parents force him to go back to the terrible school. The kid then learns that an unhinged inventor named Andrew Toggle is trying to take his hands. Although Jerry escapes, the adult doesn't get off so easily. The ghost that warned the kid reappears and forces Andrew to play the piano for eternity. All the while, she doesn't allow breaks and constantly criticizes him. Our hands are cramping at the thought of this cruel and karmic punishment. How much longer till eternity, lazy boy? Number 15, being stuck as a shrunken pet. Either you tell me what I want to know, or the next time you see your nephew, he'll be wearing a much smaller hat. The Hollings family wanted to control the power of Kali A, aka jungle magic, for themselves. So, they attempted to force a kid named Mark and his aunt into helping them attain power. But by the end of the story, Mark uses the power of Kali A to escape, and all three members of the family are shrunken to a tiny size. Mark decides to keep them in prison within a small tank in his room. Calm down. I didn't forget. The thought of being left at the mercy of a kid who could forget to feed you is pretty terrifying. And even if they did escape, they could easily be eaten by creatures as small as a mouse or just get stepped on. The Haulings shouldn't have messed with this magic. Don't worry, you guys. My Aunt Benna said she was going to find a way to bring you back to your normal size. She's going to bring it when she comes to visit. On my 16th birthday. Number 14, tricked into starring on Twisted Shows. We want to thank you for being our guest today on... What should have been a fun family outing to an amusement park turned into a roller coaster of horrors for the Morris family. Eventually, they learned that they kept getting scared because they were on a hidden camera reality show for monsters. While the kids try to leave when they get a chance, the parents push their luck and agree to star in a game show. No, 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 wait, just, uh, I don't think it would hurt to just play the game. Mm. This decision leads to the quartet being threatened and hunted. And when they think they've escaped, it's revealed that the Morris family is still being tormented on live TV. Who knows how many shows they were forced to star in? All we know for certain is that they should have read the fine print of their TV contracts. Whoa! Now that's what I call a cliffhanger! Will the Morris family ever get out of Horrorland? Number 13, forced to age overnight. While Tom and John are being babysat by their aunt, she peer pressures them into eating prune-based foods. Although they enjoy the meals, they quickly notice that they're aging rapidly. Tom and John soon discover that their aunt was forcefully aging the duo. Why? Because she wanted the new adults to be sold as husbands to single ladies. Nobody's getting married until you pay my fee, then we'll talk. Oh, well. Don't worry about that, they're so delicious. While that scheme was terrifying and wrong in about a hundred different ways, the suffering doesn't end there. After discovering that baby food can de-age them, John eats too much and turns into a child. It's implied that there's a chance he can be returned to his original self. However, the duo will likely always live in fear that what they eat can massively change their age. You like prunes, they're good for you. Delicious, too. Come on, John, don't be such a baby. Number 12, unwillingly swapping bodies with animals. Anyone who sees a certain pair of ghostly dogs must prepare themselves for a terrible fate. Cooper and his friend Fergie learn this the hard way when they encountered the canines at night. Through a brief conversation, the duo discovered the ghost dogs were once humans that were transformed against their will. The evil animals decide to swap bodies with the innocent kids. Fergie, what are we gonna do? We're dogs! I gotta flee! Quit messing around, we've gotta do something. Those creeps are probably passing themselves off as us right now! Cooper and Fergie desperately try to get their bodies back while only being able to bark. Fortunately, they're able to reverse the process by confronting the dogs in the forest. But while they get their bodies back, Cooper's older brother Mickey accidentally switches places with a chipmunk. Did the clueless kid ever get his body back? Honestly, 
don't know. Hey, Cooper, you weasel. Don't leave me here. What am I going to do? You got to help me, Cooper. This isn't funny anymore. Number 11, left at the mercy of aliens. We initially felt bad for Sammy because he was being haunted by a ghost named Brent. Although the spirit clearly exists, he wasn't able to prove it to anyone around him. But it turns out that Sammy wasn't the true victim. In a shocking reveal, it's revealed that Brent is actually a human boy who managed to turn invisible. Please don't hurt me. Brent? It's a human, Sam. Human? I thought there weren't any more humans. As an added twist, Sammy, his parents, and everyone else we met in the episode are actually alien creatures that forced humans off-world. Brent was turned invisible so that he could stay safe on Earth. Although the aliens promise not to hurt the human kid, we absolutely don't believe them. We shudder at the thought of what Brent's final fate could have been. We won't hurt you, Brent. We promise. <laughs> Number 10, being erased from time. Enough, Michael. You've been going on about this all day. I'm telling you, I'm caught in a time warp. After Michael messes around with his father's new and ominous looking cuckoo clock, he's forced to relive the events of his embarrassing birthday. Unfortunately, it doesn't stop there. Michael is forced to experience both his sixth birthday and what it's like to be an infant again because the clock keeps sending him backwards in time. Although he's able to reverse the process in time, his annoying sister is a lot less lucky. Michael's actions cause her to be erased from existence. Look, the year 1988 is missing. That, that's the year Tara would have been born. Who's Tara? Uh, nobody, Dad. The idea of being completely deleted from the fabric of time is pretty terrifying. While it's implied that Michael might save her one day, there's always a chance that he'd get used to being an only child and let her fade from memory. So Tara has never been born. I suppose there's some way to go back in time and get her, right? I guess I probably ought to do that. And I will. One of these days. Number 9. Trapped in an Empty Void A young boy named Seth thought he hit the jackpot when he got his hands on a remote that could warp reality with the click of a button. Always be sure to keep the Verona XG20 Universal Remote Control away from children. It's not a toy. However, it soon becomes clear that the device is way too dangerous to risk using long term. Although Seth tries to throw it away, he ends up using it during a heated confrontation and accidentally traps himself in a void. Hello? It's unclear if there was any way for Seth to escape the dark prison he got stuck in. While he wasn't exactly the most virtuous character, he didn't deserve this seemingly permanent fate. Seth may have been forced to live out the rest of existence without a TV or human contact after he misused this powerful device. We hope you enjoy your new Verona XG20 Universal Remote Control. If treated with proper care, it will bring you a lifetime of enjoyment. No, Tony, wait! Number 8. Transformed into a Magic Show Rabbit What's that? It's a measles magic bag. You stole it? Yeah, I took it from his dressing room. We'll see how amazing he is without it. Since a magic enthusiast named Tim couldn't afford to buy his own tricks, he stole a bag from his favorite magician. He soon discovers there's a talking rabbit inside it that used to be a man. After Tim helps turn the hair human again, it's revealed that he actually helped an evil magician named El Sidney get his body back. Aren't we having fun yet? The great Timothini is far too valuable to lose. Besides, we had a deal, remember? I need you in my act. The twisted sorcerer immediately turns the boy into a rabbit. Being transformed into an animal against your will is horrible enough. However, the fact that Tim now has to be a part of potentially dangerous magic shows makes matters even worse. The rabbit boy has no idea if the next performance will be his last. Don't worry, Tim. I'll think of something. I'll get us out of this. Number seven, given to ghosts forever. Just one hour. If you can make it for one hour, you're in. They call it the house of no return. 
Anyone who wants to join the kids group known as Danger Incorporated has to prove their worth by staying in a haunted house for an hour. After the three members of this alliance force a young boy named Chris into the house, he encounters the ghosts of a couple who want to take care of kids. When the trio tries to save him later, they realize they fell right into a very spooky trap. Chris won his freedom from the ghost by promising that members of Danger Incorporated would take his place. What kind of a bar bargain was it? He promised that if we let him go, three children would take his place. Three for one trade. <gasps> the kids definitely deserved a heaping dose of karma after what they did to a prospective member, but their actions ensured that they would be imprisoned by spirits until they became ghosts themselves. Are you gonna let us go? Let you go? We can't let you go. We're a family now. We love you. And we're going to love you. Forever. Forever. Number 6. Stuck with bad luck forever Shortly after moving into a new house, Kat discovered an old sponge underneath the sink. Unfortunately, this innocent kitchen item was something far more sinister known as a gruel. This being's presence causes Kat to have nothing but bad luck. Since it fed on her misfortune, it got stronger whenever something terrible happened. And Kat couldn't even give it away because pawning a gruel off to someone else would cause her to die. If the owner gives the gruel away, the owner dies. I must be the owner. I'm the one that found it. This unlucky kid was sentenced to a life living with this ominous creature solely because she looked under her sink. Although Kat finds a way to keep it in check, the last scene suggests that her bad luck will still persist. What is it? Number 5. Getting Turned Into a Statue In exchange for performing a good deed for a mysterious woman, Samantha is allowed to make wishes. Make your first wish. Uh, okay. I wish I was the best player on the basketball team. It becomes clear that every single one of her requests comes with horrible side effects. After accidentally turning most of the people she knows into flies, Samantha allows a mean classmate named Judith to make wishes instead. The wicked girl immediately makes a self-centered request to be constantly admired. I wish that wherever I was, people would gather around and admire me. Unfortunately for Judith, the wish causes her to be turned into a statue. While her stone facade is constantly smiling, we have no idea if she is still conscious. One stray wish may have led a mean girl to have her terrible fate permanently etched into stone. Oh, look, how beautiful. It's lovely. Yes. Number four, being replaced by an evil mirror clone. We could do experiments. Isn't that sort of dangerous? Well, how else are we supposed to understand how it works? I mean, it seems like each time we do it, the longer it takes to get back. When Noah, his brother Max, and a few of their friends discover a mirror that can make them invisible, they have a lot of fun with the concept. But the magical piece of furniture quickly becomes no joke. It turns out that every time they go invisible, they risk being replaced by evil versions of themselves that live within the mirror. They can't hear you. You can't escape me now, Max. It's switching time. One by one, he will bring you here. While Max is able to fight off his clone, Noah isn't so lucky. His evil reflection is able to sneak into the real world while the original is left trapped within the mirror. Since the evil Noah knows how to stay out of the reflective dimension, the original might have to spend an eternity reflecting on his invisible mistakes. Since when did you start throwing with your right hand? Noah? Number three. Finding out you live in an ant-dominated world. I've got to do something. Yeah. There's no way you can hurt me. I'm twice as big as them. During a bug-themed Goosebumps episode, the audience is led to believe that the big twist is that a boy named Dave accidentally caused giant ants to attack his town. When it's revealed that he just dreamed up that scenario, the real nightmare begins. 
Dave wakes up to find that he actually lives in a world ruled by giant ants. I know what you're thinking. Mr. Lance! You're thinking of things that seem maybe just a little bit different. We'd be the dominant species. The titanic insects also barely drop enough food to go around for him and his neighbors. Since the ants are both intelligent and powerful, it's unlikely the humans in this world will ever be free. Dave will always have to deal with the worst insect infestation of all time. I dreamt that things were different. The ants were so small you could fit a thousand of them in one hand. And it was your job to kill them. <laughs> Don't let them hear you say that. Number 2. Discovering You're a Robotic Guinea Pig That is the tram for the new Shocker Studios tour ride. You mean the tour is going to open? Yes, and you are going to be the first two kids to ride it. Erin was initially excited to test out her father's horror-themed park ride with her best friend Marty. But once it becomes clear that all the monsters in the attraction are real, the duo struggles to get to safety. When Erin finally reaches her dad, he reveals that she and Marty are robots he designed to test the attraction. What did you do to Marty? This shocking twist means that all their memories were nothing more than artificial creations. Additionally, they'll never be able to grow up and can be deactivated if someone figures out how they work. It turns out that the most terrifying aspect of the brutally real attraction was the fact that Aaron and Marty were literally designed to test it. We don't want to be deactivated, do we, Marty? No. We don't like that. We don't like that at all. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Curse to become a puppet. Oh, Tane. Did you hear the one about the three kids that tried to outsmart that dummy? No, Sloppy, tell me all about it. Zane launched a plan to mess with his prank happy cousins by moving dummies around the house and pretending to be scared of the puppets. But Karma hit him hard after launching his sinister plot. Right before he arrived, his family members brought the cursed living dummy Slappy into their home. The villain eventually decides to turn Zane into a wooden doll to keep his cousins in check. It was rough to see the kid get transformed against his will. Although Zane regains human form, a final twist reveals that the curse still lives on inside of him. The kid was only guilty of pulling a few pranks. Unfortunately, he was sentenced to live out a cursed existence as one of Slappy's most twisted creations. Bye Zane. See ya. Which of these terrible fates gave you the most goosebumps? Scream about them in the comments below. Ah, the cruel hand of fate. Excuse me? Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.